Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Kaufman and this is my business partner, Fred Weaver. We're Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team. Hey, so welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here on our blog. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, checking in. Yeah. Um, there's more information on us here, Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team on our website. Just to quickly let you know, we've closed hundreds of short sales in the Phoenix area since 2008, and we've done so at a success rate of 90 plus percent. But enough about us. Uh, this video is actually just to uh, assist you. So. Yeah. Um, one of the common questions I wanted to discuss on today's video, Kevin, is a lot of homeowners when they come to us, um, sometimes they're still current on their mortgage payment. Right. Um, they're current because they haven't yet experienced the change or the uh, reduction in their income. Or they haven't yet retired, therefore they're still able to make their payments. Or they haven't yet moved and therefore they don't have a, a second obligation on another home. And so people ask us a well, lot. In some cases they haven't completely gone through their savings account yet. Absolutely. And so people ask us a lot, you know, when should I miss payments or should, should I, I miss payments on the home? Yeah. And um, it's a tough question for us as realtors to answer. So I want to maybe just, uh, if you could spend a minute sharing with our viewers what you share with people when they, when they ask that yeah, question. Yeah, you know, simply what I'm going to say to you is, I'm never going to say to you, I'm not going to shoot on you. I mean, I'm never going to say you should miss payments or you shouldn't miss payments, okay? Um, understand a couple of things about short sales. It is possible to do a short sale where there's never a payment missed. However, I want to give you a disclaimer and let you know that that doesn't happen very often. It used to happen, you know, before short sales got to be this big out of control situation that they are today. You know, back in 2006, 2007, even 2008, there was a lot of short sales occurring. In fact, we probably did 25 of them where our sellers never missed a payment. Yep. But something that we noticed in early 2009, and here we are now, 2010, you might be watching this video in 2011 or 2012, and what we've seen is that when, when borrowers are still current, the banks are going, hold on, we're not even gonna look at them for a possible short sale. Yeah, and, and understand guys, the, you know, we'll try to give you our best explanation on why that is. We're not the bank, we don't think like them. No. Um, we, we try to think like them so that we can complete your short sale and that's why we're successful at what we do. But, um, you know, one of the reasons we think that the banks have really made that change is that they don't want a bunch of borrowers taking advantage of being able to short sale their home and basically dodge, if you will, the responsibility of, of sure. keeping up the payments. So they want people to have to, unfortunately, suffer a credit consequence. Now, that's a pretty sad excuse from the bank's end, so we're not saying we agree with it, I don't, but... It's it, just, it occurs. Yeah. One of, you know, one of the other things I think that we see going on out there is because of the, the massive volume of short sales that we see out there, is this is a way to kind of kind of keep people at bay, if you will, yeah. meaning what, what's occurring is there's so many short sale files. There isn't one bank in this entire country that's staffed up enough to handle all of their short sales. I mean, there are none. Yep. So if they can give you one more hoop to jump through, if you will, before they assign a person to actually review your file, go through it, make sure it's a good loss mitigation decision for that bank, then they're going to do that. And, and so for some case, for some banks, in some cases, it's another hoop for a homeowner to jump through in order to quote qualify. Yeah, let us summarize it by, by saying this. Kevin and I are never gonna tell you as the homeowner if you should or shouldn't make your payment. That's not our place as real estate agents. We will tell you and inform you that the bank is gonna wanna see you behind on payments before you actually qualify and get approved for a short sale. So um, it is what it is. We're just sharing with you what's yeah. happening out there. And uh, you know, it's a little unfortunate, but at the same time, what's most important to you is moving on in life. And yeah. So uh, most of our clients are okay with the credit hit, if you will, and know that they can get back to a much better place in a couple of years and be well on their way towards having nice credit and qualifying for another home in just a couple of years versus staying in that home upside down for the next 10, 20 years of your life. So um, maybe we'll discuss that a little bit next time, some of the uh, decisions that are facing homeowners on our next episode. So, hey, we'd love to chat with you. If you would, fill out our form here on this website so Kevin or I or one of the members of our team can get in contact with you. We'd love to have a small consultation with you on the phone, tell you a little bit more about ourselves and answer your questions around the short sale process. And uh, we're actually out here today in front of one of our homes in the uh, Mesa, Arizona area. And uh, we hope to be uh, talking to you shortly about listing your home. So thanks so much for joining us today and uh, create yourself a great day. Thanks for your time today, guys. See you soon.